Grantar Selector is an incredibly powerful material selection tool as part of the Antis suite. In addition to an extensive catalogue of materials and material properties, Grantar Selector also contains auxiliary tools such as an engineering solver to quickly identify mechanical constraints, the Eco Audit tool to comprehensively understand the environmental impact of a product, and a material synthesizer tool to design battery modules, composites, as well as cellular and multi-layered structures. To showcase Ansys Eco Audit, let's do a comparison study between the environmental effects of a plastic and glass water bottle. To start, let's use the Windows search bar to open up Granta Selector. Then press continue and choose the Polymer Plus database. Then click on the Eco Audit button. This will create a new Eco Audit project. First, input a name for the product, then expand the next section to input details about the materials used in the project and list any manufacturing techniques used to join the parts in the product together. Let's put in 100 as the quantity and begin with the bottle itself. For the material, we can expand polymers and select the unfilled amorphous plastic PET. Then give it a mass of 0.04 kilograms, choose polymer molding as the primary process. And for the end of life, let's assume that we can recycle 50% of the material. Then moving on to the next component, which is 100 bottle caps, we can pick a different plastic component this time, namely a low flow polypropylene. For the bottle cap mass, we can enter one gram and pick polymer molding as the primary process again. And for end of life, we can assume that it will be combusted to recover energy. And just to ensure that later on the transport costs are accurate, we can add in the dead weight of the water in the bottle as one liter. Then various joining procedures such as adhesives, fasteners, or welding can be included to account for the energy use in such procedures. Following that is transport. You can add in multiple entries and choose the mode of transportation from a variety of trucks, trains, aircrafts, and ships. For this example, we'll choose a 3.5 to 7 litre truck for 200 kilometres. Moving on to the use tab, we can pick the country the product will be used in and enter the expected life cycle. Then, we can also add in any additional energy use the product requires during its life. For example, cooling the water bottle with a device that uses 12 watts for five days a year and the cooler is on for 24 hours when it is in use. Then we can display the results in a summary chart with the energy or CO2 footprint across its life cycle. To give context to these results or to use as a comparison tool, we can click on compare with and select a copy of the current product. Then if we change the material to glass and make appropriate changes to its mass and manufacturing techniques, we can easily compare the CO2 footprint and energy use between the two products, including an overall percentage change at the bottom. To generate a full report, switch to the report tab to see a summary chart and table of the energy used and CO2 generated by the product. Then click to the next page to see details about the energy used throughout different life cycle stages. And the final page displays the same information for the CO2 output. In terms of saving results, one can either copy or save the comparison table and export the full report as PDF. Importantly, eco audit projects are separate from Grantar selector projects and have to be saved independently. 